Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm with eWrench. This video is about how to use the Remina Remote Desktop Protocol client to connect to a Microsoft Windows operating system. It uses a set of virtual computers on a local area network to demonstrate the connections. The outcome for this video, because we're using VirtualBox for all the computers, is to set VirtualBox network connections on to expose them to a local area network or LAN. If you're using hardware machines, uh, you'll just ignore these settings. Enable remote desktop server on a Windows 7, Vista, and XP, and obtain IP addresses of all, the, all three of these computers. And third, use a Remina remote desktop client in Ubuntu 12.04 to connect to Windows 7, Vista, and XP computers. Requirements. Microsoft Windows 7, Vista, or XP, any edition except home editions. Home editions cannot act as remote desktop servers. Ubuntu 12.04 desktop, all updates applied. And all systems should be on the same LAN or local area network. This video only covers remote desktop connections on the same LAN. And all systems should use the same keyboard mapping. Not one with a Chinese keyboard and one with a German. Background info. In order for this video to make a little bit of sense, I have to give some background info on what Remote Desktop Protocol is. Remote Desktop Protocol, RDP, or as Microsoft calls it now, Remote Desktop Services, RDS, is a Microsoft-developed protocol used for one computer to log in and manage another computer across the network. RDP, by default, uses port 3389 to communicate with other computers. A port is similar to a phone number. If a software program is listening at a port, it will try and answer the phone or port. If no software is listening, the call will go unanswered. The computer making the call across the port is known as the RDP client. The client calls to the RDP server and hopefully remote desktop is enabled on the server machine to answer the call. Most Microsoft Windows operating systems except the home edition can be remote desktop servers. Ubuntu 12.04 comes with a remote desktop client called Remina by default. You can use Remina client to connect to Windows machines without installing additional software on the Windows machines. If you wish your Ubuntu machine to also become remote desktop server, you have to install software such as XRDP. Although not covered in this video, RDP clients can easily connect to your RDP servers from outside your LAN or the Internet. Because of that, I have to give a disclaimer. The information given here is for remote desktop connections across a single LAN. If computers in your LAN are not secure, if your LAN is exposed to the internet, you may have additional security issues. The internet is too wild a place for a video to cover all these security issues. That's it for just reading off the screen. What you'll see next is the actual demonstration. If you are testing out remote desktop connections inside VirtualBox, you will have to make the following configuration setting to each virtual machine that you want to use for a remote desktop connection. Here I have a group of uh, virtual machines called remote desktop connections. Open them up. And one's an Ubuntu, one's a Vista, and one's a uh, Windows 7. And each virtual machine on the network setting what you'll have to have is attached to bridge adapter. By having it attached to bridge adapter, this allows all computers to be on the same local area network or LAN. You should have a router or DHCP server, which is, stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol Server on your network. The DHCP server assigns each machine an IP address, and by having these virtual machines exposed to the same DHCP server that will ensure that all the machines will be on the same LAN. Of course this could also expose your machines to any other machines on your LAN and possibly outside your LAN. Make sure this is bridged adapter. Over here it says display and then it says remote desktop server disabled. Go ahead and leave that disabled because this refers to something internally in VirtualBox. This allows VirtualBox to actually talk to all the machines inside VirtualBox using 
the 3389 port, which is used by Microsoft and Make Machine be a remote desktop. This internal, leave it disabled because we're not configuring that. I would also consider giving each video machine the same amount of memory. See how this Ubuntu machine, RDP Ubuntu 01, has 12 megabytes of memory, but the RDP Vista video memory is 27 megabytes. Now, this was an automatic configuration setting when the machines were first created. So I'm going to go and change this display setting to 27 megabytes. Hopefully this will help the machines when they talk to each other uh, update their displays easier. However, in all honesty, I'm not sure that this has any, will have any effect, but it, it may. So that's it for any settings you might need to make if you're using VirtualBox to play or have the, uh, your different uh, virtual machines remote desktop to each other. In order to create a remote desktop connection to a Windows machine, you need to enable remote desktop connections on the machine. Enabling this connection makes the Windows machine a remote desktop server. Unfortunately, Home Edition's Windows cannot work as a remote desktop server. Also, you should make sure each user logging in from a client machine has an administrator account on the Windows machine and a password to log in. We simply click Start, right-click on my computer, Properties, Go to Remote Settings, and we've got three options. Don't allow connections to this computer. Allow connections from computers running any version of Remote Desktop, less secure, and allow connections only from computers running Remote Desktop with NLA or network level authentication. Our choice for to have an Ubuntu machine use Remote Desktop to log into this computer is to allow connections from computers running any version of remote desktop. Click OK. Don't have to select users because we're administrative users are allowed in. Simply close this. And one thing we'd like to do with the Windows is I like to restart it to so make sure that all the settings are uh, made. Windows Remote Desktop Connection that changes the uh, firewall settings in Windows Firewall and probably make some other internal connections. Once you've restarted, I'd like to go to All Programs, Accessories, Command Prompt and get the IP address of the machine. And to do this you type in IP Config and in this case is 192.168.1.54. Write it down. Uh, it may change if you're using DHCP, but usually an address that is giving uh, usually has a period of time before it changes. So once you have that, then you can make the uh, remote desktop connection from Ubuntu to this IP address as opposed to the machine. It just removes one complication basically of uh, going through a domain name server. In Windows Vista, simply go again to my computer, right click, properties, remote settings again. Now you have the UAB or the Windows user account control UAC, I'm sorry. Click continue and again same thing, allow connections from computers running any version of remote desktop. OK. Restart the system. And once you restart, you might want to get the uh, IP address. Go up to get the IP address. I use a command prompt. IP config. And in this case, it's uh, 192.168.1.53. So that's the uh, what we'll use to make a connection from Ubuntu. Here we have an XP machine. Again, start my computer, right click, properties, and go to remote. And here we are, allow users to connect remotely to this computer. And 
XP says some local accounts might not have passwords. It's possible for in XP for an administrator account not to have a password. Click OK. Click OK. Again, restart. Once the computer is restarted, go over here. In this case, I've got command prompts, but if you want to go to all programs, accessories again, click on command prompt, IP config. And in this case, the XP machine is 55, 192.168.155. That's going to be the connection that we're going to use to hook up to the XP machine. Ubuntu 12.04 Desktop comes with a remote desktop protocol client called Remina. Remina will enable you to connect to a Windows remote desktop server and work on the Windows machine. However, because there are differences in screen display settings between Unity and Windows video, you may not always get a clean screen like you normally do between two Windows machines. Before using Remina, let's verify this Ubuntu desktop is on the same LAN or local area network that the Windows machines are. To do that, let's open up a terminal window and key in the ifconfig. Key in terminal. I have can fig, and here we have an IP address of 192.168.1.52. So it's on the same LAN or local area networks as the Windows 7 machine, which is 0.54, the Vista, which is 0.53, and the XP, which is 0.55. So let's go ahead and close this. And let's look for Remina. And here's the Remina remote desktop client. Let's open it up. And let's also lock to the launcher. I will be creating three different connections, one to each one of the Windows machines, Windows 7, Vista, and XP. In these connections, I'll be using the IP address of each Windows machine that I obtained earlier. Because desktop IP addresses normally change, it would be best in a production environment to use a computer name. You can find out the computer name a Windows machine has by right-clicking Computer from the Programs menu and then selecting Properties. In a learning environment, using the actual IP address removes one level of complexity in that the connection will not have to rely on a domain name system or DNS server to match the computer name with the IP address. So let's create a Win7 connection first. We'll call it Win7. Verify that we're using the RDP or the Remote Desktop Protocol. Remina allows you to use a few other protocols. And 192, we're going to use the actual IP address as opposed to Point one, 0.54, and we're going to use a client resolution. Well, let's put in a, an administrator user on the Windows 7 machine and a password. And we're going to use a client resolution, and we're going to use uh, actually go up to high color 16 bits. And in the advanced, we're going to make sure that we've got the poor, the fastest quality. If you go to a medium quality or a high quality, sometimes I've found that it actually the connection hangs up and you can't stops working. And I guess it's just too much uh, back and forth. Click on uh, go back to basic. Got everything here. Click on save. So let's create one for Vista. Give it a name. It doesn't matter what the name is, just so long they're not the same. RDP server 192.168.1.53. Username administrator on the Vista machine. Password on the Vista machine. And I'm going to go again to 16 bits. Now, uh, RDP will support all of these. So there's no problem with that. I'm just trying to get as much color as I can. Click Save. And then we're going to create another one called WinXP. 
0.1.55. Again, a user on the administrative user on the connection. Use client resolution. And again, again we're going to go to a high color 16 bit and keep it at the quickest connection. Click save. So let's go ahead and let's test our connections. Let's test the Win7 connection first. Simply click on here, double click. And since so connecting to Win7, do you want to accept the certificate? Click OK. So here's our Win7 machine. You'll notice that we don't get the nice colors, but we can go in here, and this is a basic uh, machine. We can go in here. And let's go in here and see if we've got any files that we can see. Uh, document pictures library, sample pictures. So here we are. We've got, uh, you can actually see the actual pictures in the pictures library. It's just the background color is not coming in. So let's close this one. Start. Log off. Now, before we check the Vista connection, notice that I made a uh, keyboarding error here on this. So let's edit the IP address. And there should be a dot here and one less dot here. So 192 point. And we're going to save that. And now let's check the Vista connection. And you've got the welcome screen. Now this connection right here is a hung up connection. So let's close it. And sometimes Remna hangs up. And we'll just close it from up here. Windows Vista's up. So we're going to force a quit. Open it up. Let's try again. This time the connection is good because we've got a black screen. And again, we go to start. And let's, let's, um, actually, let's right click. And we're just going to explore. Move this up. Go to pictures, sample pictures. Again, we've got sample pictures that we can actually sit there, open up, and uh, sit there and work with. So let's go ahead and close this. Let's move down. Doesn't quite cover the screen here. Let's move down. Let's log off. I guess the user account control there keeps us from shutting it up off. So that's Vista. Now we've got a nice blue screen in our XP connection and of course it's uh, doesn't take a big a footprint as the others. And, well let's go to start explore. Let's look for some uh, my documents, my pictures, sample pictures. Again, you can see what you've got. So all three of them work. Thank you.